Hello YouTubers and welcome to Geeky Bricks and it's that time again. Yes it is Lego haul time. Okay everyone as you can see we've got a number of boxes, where are we, <laughs> behind me, um, over here to get opened up and share with you what is inside. Time of year recording this is at the end of 2015. Um, literally, it is the 31st today as I'm recording this video. Um, it will be uploaded on the Sunday of this week. Um, so first of all, I just want to wish you all, um, well, actually ask and say, I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas and to wish you all a happy new year and a prosperous new year for everyone. And also to thank you for all the support I've been given over this channel over the course of the Christmas break. I have surpassed 10,000 subscribers on YouTube on my Geeky Bricks channel. So thank you everyone um, for supporting me and subscribing to my channel. And I hope to bring you many more of these videos and other videos as I try to get myself more organized and find more time in my rather hectic schedule. But anyway, back to this video. So we're gonna get this lot unopened or unboxed rather, so um, over on this side we have a number of packages from Amazon and over on this side they are all from Lego Shop at Home. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six from Lego Shop at Home and we have one, two, three, four, five, oh, six from Amazon. So 12 boxes to get opened up and share with you what's inside and hopefully in here and some of these boxes are going to be some of the new Lego Star Wars sets so I'm excited to have a look at those and get some of those built. So without any further ado let's get into this and get these boxes opened up. Okay so we're going to open up the largest box first from Lego Shop at Home but I just wanted to share with you there are actually some things missing from this week's Lego haul. I actually took a trip to my local Lego store just before Christmas Day um, and I bought a couple of presents in there for my two sons so they're obviously not in this haul because by this time they've actually been wrapped, um, opened up and uh, my eldest, eldest son has uh, at least made the one that um, I bought for him, I don't think my youngest son has yet. When I was in there I got a pick a brick cup as well and unfortunately I've already um, parted that out as well and put that into my brick league store. Um, what I also got free um, was this Lego wrapping paper. Um, so they gave me that, um, but I also really wanted to get this year's um, Christmas um, tree hanging ornament uh, thingy majiggy, um, which was a Christmas tree. Um, and unfortunately, they didn't have any, which is obviously a little bit disappointing. I guess I left it too late. So when I asked them about it, they did open up a drawer and pull out a bag of these, which were from last year. So I got one of last year's instead, um, which I think is pretty cool anyway. Which is a so which we can see there, a little train, but it's in the um, fabric bag, which you can obviously hang from your Christmas tree. So quite pleased to get that. Um, it's past Christmas now, so that's gonna go away into my, I will put that into my poly bag collection. It's a sort of a poly bag. Um, and hopefully I'll get my hands on this year's one as well, the Christmas tree, maybe from a different route. Or if one of you guys wanna donate me one, bring it on, <laughs> thanks very much. Um, anyway, so I'm going to get this box on open. I'm just going to pause the video because I want to take these straps off because I want to keep this box actually. So I'm going to pause this just while I take these straps off um, and we'll be right back. Okay, and here we are back. As you can see, like I said, I've just slipped those straps off so that I can slip them back on. So I want to store something in this box. Um, obviously a Lego set. Uh, so that's why I want to keep the box, just for those of you who are wondering. So I'm going to put that down there to one side. Let's take my invoice out and see what's in here, so I can uh, never remember myself. Um, so this isn't one of the new LEGO Star Wars sets, just to make you aware of that. Um, however, what I have got in here is one of the new uh, LEGO Star Wars C-3PO with his red arm uh, minifigures. So that one's from my collection. The others that I get in here will be going into my Brickling store. So if you want one of those, head over to my Brickling store. We got bubbles, which I will be keeping. And I am somewhat surprised, to say the least. I also seem to have another poly bag in there. I honestly don't know why, but thank you very much, Lego, for throwing that in there. Um, well, okay, that surprised me. So whether they're doing this as well, but it's not one of the official promotions at the moment, but I'm not going to say no to it. So I've got another um, 
promotional poly bag in there. So I've already got this. Um, so that's going to go into Bricklink store as well. So thanks, Lego. Oh, we've also got. Yeah, right, okay. That explains it. So we've got this card here. Okay, which is awesome. Nice little card there. Really pleased with that. And it actually, on the back of it, in gold, um, it says, please find a little extra Lego treat included with your order to say thank you for shopping with us. I don't know if you can see that there. And obviously in a different language, is obviously something they're going to be doing worldwide by the looks of it. But that's awesome. So that is a bit of a surprise. And it is a treat. I love this little card, actually. Uh, <coughs> that's awesome, too. So certainly be, that's a keeper. Um, but that explains it now. Anyway, so this is the set I bought. Um, and it is... Oh, there goes my telephone. So apologies for that. Let me just pause the video a minute while that phone rings off. Okay, so as you can see, it is the MTT set 75058, ages 9 to 14. Um, I've already bought this set and got it built. It's actually, you can't see it, but trust me, it's up there on my shelf. Um, but I bought another one because for those of you who don't know, I do collect battle droids. Um, uh, droids of all kinds, really, but mainly the battle droids. Um, super battle droids. Security droids, commando droids, um, all of them basically. Um, and I have quite an extensive droid army, um, probably around about 3,000 um, droids, I'd say. Um, so this is to go towards that. I do want to <laughs> this year. I didn't manage to do it, sorry, this year in 2016. I'm not quite there yet. In 2016, I want to get that um, built and displayed and share it with you guys. I didn't manage to do it in 2015. I think in 2014 I did. So you'll find somewhere in my Previous videos, um, my droid army, what it was in 2014. But anyway, so that explains why I have got that set. So on with the Lego Shop at Home sets. Let's get the next one straight up here. Um, I'm going to do the same again, actually. This is what I actually do to keep these. Um, I will show you this time. Because you can just simply slide these straps off like so um, and it enables you to keep them and use the box again which is good for someone like me who obviously sells Lego um, some of these boxes are better than others the quality of the Lego shop at home boxes are actually very very good um, so like this one for example I'm going to keep this one as well um, so that I can reuse it uh, recycling so my bit obviously for the world so Okay, so this is obviously one that was ordered a while back because I've actually got in this one um, another gingerbread house box. It's a little bit damaged on this one, only a little tiny bit. Um, that will probably be going into my brickling store. I've got a few of those in there, so gingerbread house, awesome, 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 awesome set. Um, and I've also got before it was discontinued, and it is actually now sold out on Lego Shop at Home. Now my door's going, the postman, I will be back. Okay guys, sorry as you can see, it's quite busy here today. So yeah, just got that done from the postman. No idea what that is, but that's one side. Back to this. Um, it was the Imperial Hotel from the Architecture line. Um, he says, is this the one that's just been discontinued? I think it is, but I might be wrong. I've ordered a few different architecture sets. I think this is the one that's just been continued. If I'm wrong, I apologize. Um, but I think it is, um, but it's 21017, um, and I've gone into these, I've never really been into them, I've always thought they're a bit overpriced for what they are, they're very small, um, but to be fair, I've now built the Eiffel Tower and Lincoln Memorial, and I'm quite impressed with them, and the quality of the packaging, you get the booklet with them that gives you all the information and history um, on the particular building or structure um, that you're obviously building, so... Yeah, I'm going to try and, obviously there's a picture of the uh, actual Imperial Hotel um, on the back of it. So I'm going to try and get hold of all these architecture sets, because um, like I said, I've built a couple and I do actually quite like them. So hence why I've got that, and there may be some more in here, I don't know. Um, but we will soon find out as we get through this. I'm just going to pause the video, because this is going to be quite long. Okay, and on to our next box, and I've already taken the straps off this one, so again I'm going to keep this box. So I've got a few sets recently, so we need to uh, keep a couple of boxes. So in this one, 
Lego shop at home. We have bubbles. We love bubbles. And we have got another card. Yay! So what does that mean? It can only mean one thing. We've got another one of these poly bags. So we've got two poly bags. Uh, so these will both be going into my Brickling store. Thank you very much, Lego. Awesome. Really chuffed with that. And we've got ta -da! some of the new Star Wars sets. 75134 Galactic Empire Battle Pack. Awesome. We love Lego Star Wars. So we've got that one. We have got the Carbon Freezing Chamber, 75137. So a few people that I've been communicating with have said this set is awesome. The guys who've already got it and built this. So excellent. And we have got 75138 Hoff Attack um, as well. So what I'd like you guys to do is leave a link down in the description to this video. Do you want me to build and review these sets and share it with you on YouTube? What I have not been doing much of for a period of time now is any reviews. Um, and the reason for that, being perfectly honest, is they don't get as many views. Um, and I just want to bring you guys content that you want to see. Um, it's not about me about what you want to see so these videos get by far the most views which tells me you like these videos so that's why I keep doing these videos if you want me to do reviews um, I will do um, but if I don't get I don't know if, if I don't see popular to me that tells me that people aren't really that interested and to be fair there are many other YouTubers out there who do excellent review videos um, and I'm sure that's where you guys go to watch those but let me know if you do want to see me doing reviews on certainly the Lego Star Wars sets let me know and I will do my best so down in the description please in the comments sorry in the comments section down below okay and on to the next one again we've taken the straps off this box let's get it opened up find my invoice Doki, we have bubbles, and we've got surprise, 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 ta da! We got another card, awesome, which means two poly bags again. Thank you, Lego, again. So, two of those, and then we have got um, again, new Lego Star Wars packs, 75133, the Rebel Alliance battle pack this time. That awesome, awesome, awesome. We have got 751360 Droid Escape Pod and again. That looks cool. I do like the look of this version of the Droid Escape Pod. There you go, a bit more detail down the back. Awesome. And in this box, finally, we have got 75135 Obi Wan's Jedi Interceptor. And the latest version of that set. Uh, there we go. Three more Lego Star Wars sets. Okay, and the next one from Lego Shop at Home, and this time we're going to use the trusty knife. Cut the straps. Lose it the way. Get into this one. It's obviously a smaller box this time, but it looks like it's ram packed. Look at the amount of stuff that's on the invoice. Okay, so bubbles! Yes, we have more bubbles and we have got ta -da, another card! Yay! So that means we have got, hopefully, yep, yeah, there it is, tucked down the side. Two more of the poly bags. Excellent, again. Um, and we've got 75141 Canans Speeder Bike. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Canans. And then speed a bike. Um, but yeah, there we go. Another one of the new Lego Star Wars sets. Then we have got some of the microfighter sets. The Wookiee gunship. And we've got the ATDP 75130. Uh, the Wookiee gunship was 75129, by the way. We have got the Ghost 75127. I've actually taken apart my um, Go set. Um, yeah, we almost wish I would have kept it built now because that would have looked pretty good over that next one, but anyway. Um, and we have 75128, the Tide Advanced Prototype. So they're all from Series 3 Lego 
Star Wars Micro Fighters from the new wave of the LEGO Star Wars sets. Okay, so the last box from a LEGO shop at home, then we've got our Amazon boxes to get opened up. So let's get into these ones. That, the labels across the box there. There we have our invoice. We have bubbles. Ah, this is interesting. Okay. So we have a, another one of these cards. Again, thank you very much. But we seem to have a different holly bag this time. So we've got the C3PO, which is the official promotional bag. So thank you. But this time, we've got the Winter Soldier. Uh, so we've got Marvel's, I can't even talk, Marvel Super Heroes Winter Soldier. So thank you very much, um, uh, Lego, for that. Again, that will be going into my Brickling store, because I'm pretty sure I've already got two of these in my personal collection. Uh, we have then got Series 2 Micro Fighters, 75074. And we've got another one, 75074. So these are going to be going in my Brickling store, because I've already got these sets. And I've also got Shadow Trooper 75079. And again, this is going to be going into my Brickling store as well, because um, I suspect that these will be discontinued shortly, if not done so already at the point of recording this video. I think most of the micro fighters are certainly hard to get hold of now. That one may still be available, that's why I got it. Um, but they'll be gone soon, so they'll be going into my Brick Link store, like I said. But that was awesome to get that additional um, poly bag in there as well. Okay, so next up we have got Amazon. So let's get the Amazon boxes opened up now. As I'm opening this, I'm just going to explain something. I do buy quite a lot of things, as you can see, not just Lego. Um, so if there's other items in here that are not Lego, I apologise. What I've also decided to do on my other um, YouTube channel, which at the moment is called Destination Blogs, I'm going to start doing haul videos for all the other things I buy um, as well. So please go ahead, um, have a look at that channel, subscribe to it if you want to see all the other stuff that I tend to buy as well. Um, and I will also do some, I'll do haul videos and then I will try to do unboxing videos of the actual items that I buy, or at least the ones that seem a little bit interesting. But this is Lego, I can confirm. Um, so I've got uh, Lego City 60079. Can't remember what it's called. They don't tend to put the names on the city sets here in the UK for some reason. Um, obviously a jet plane on the back of a lorry. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called, jet something or other. Um, so I've got that, that's my personal Lego City collection. Um, I've also got the Creator uh, 31027, it's a small little set, quite a cool little set. Um, I got this because this was 50% off. Um, and I've got five of them, one, two, three, four, five, but that'll be going in my Brickling store. It's only a little set, um, as it was 50% off I thought I'd get it and put it in the Brickling store, so that's what that's for. Okay, and the next one from Amazon, as he opens it up. Um, and like I was saying, the link to that other channel, Destination Vlogs, is in the description to this video. So please go and subscribe to that channel and keep your eyes peeled for more hauls and unboxings of hopefully things that aren't LEGO related. LEGO related obviously stay on this channel. So in this box we have got a Ninjago 70755 and again they haven't put the name or don't put the name on these sets here in the UK. So apologies, don't really know what this one is. Um, but I have got one, two, oh, three. Four and five, and just to explain, because I still get the asked this question, why are you bought multiple sets? Um, I have a Brickling store, and these are to be parted out, so all those pieces will be separated, um, and the minifigures will be kept as whole minifigures, um, and sold separately in my Bricklink store. So if you want to take a look at that, again, that's down in the description to this video and the link will be there just go ahead click on that link and it'll take you across to my brick link store then if you don't know you'll hopefully see what i'm talking about um, so that will be added to the 
90 odd thousand. I want to try and get over 100,000 soon. Um, different pieces and sets, etc., that I have in my Bricklink store at present. Okay, next one from Amazon. Hopefully, it is Lego. Let's take a look. And if it isn't, and it is. Okay, good then. So, next one. Like I said from Amazon, let's get all this packaging out of the way. Not particularly well packaged in here, I have to say. They're thrown into this box, which isn't great. It's not normally like Amazon to do that, but anyway, as long as they're not damaged, because these are for resale. Um, we've got the buildable Star Wars figures 75109 Obi Wan Kenobi. I really am a fan of these buildable figures. I didn't think I would be, but I've got to say, I think they've done a fantastic job, Lego with the design of these buildable figures. Um, I think they look awesome. Um, so sorry, we've got Obi-Wan Kenobi, uh, 75107 Django Fett. Uh, another Django Fett. Another Django Fett. Another Django Fett. And another Django Fett. So we appear to have one, two, three, four, five Django Fetts and one Obi-Wan Kenobi. I'm surprised about because I thought I'd ordered more of those, so I'm gonna have to check. Obviously not right now. Um, but yeah, so we've got six of the buildable figures there. They will be going in my Bricklink stores. You can still get them direct from Lego, etc. at the moment, but at some stage these will be discontinued and sought after. Okay, next up from... Yeah, well, <laughs> that normally gives it away. Next up from Amazon. So hopefully I have got this right. What I have been having to do is uh, <laughs> do that, basically, to work out if it's Lego or not, actually, in the boxes. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty confident that is. So, yeah, there we go. What have we got in here? What is that set? Uh, okay, so more buildable figures. Uh, Clone Commander Cody, 75108. One, two, and three. That's it. That's it for that box. So, three more of the Buildable, buildable, I think I said minifigures, but they're not minifigures obviously. The buildable um, figures from Lego Star Wars, so Clone Commander Cody in those ones. Okay, next up, we are now starting to run out of space. You can see it's another large Lego haul video. Again, we could say this is a mega haul. Not a lot here. And we've still got one more box left, same size as this one, so... Why is that not open? Yes. Ah! Oh no, there is some Lego in here, but it looks like there's something else as well. That's going to be non-Lego. Okay, so let's put that to one side, it's certainly not Lego. Um, but we have got a Lego in here as well. Uh, only one set then, so this is the Creator... Uh, heliplane by the looks of it, 31020. Um, any one of those, if I remember rightly, this was something like 50% off as well. Um, that's hence why I got this. So this will either go in my Brickling store um, or be a present for someone at a later stage or a birthday or something. But anyway, so that's why I picked that up. It was a good deal, so I got it. Okay, so here we are with the final box. Let's do the shake test. Oh, this one's... Well, I think there may be Lego, but also something else there as well again. Let's get it opened up and find out. You may have to go on to the other haul video, if it's not Lego. And it is a mixture again, uh, a mixture of a number of things in here. Um, but there's only one Lego set in here, so we've got some Nerf bullets, <laughs> and we've got a uh, Xbox One game. I play the Xbox One as well. Um, so you can see what I've got there. Um, there is Lego in here, so that will go into this video. And it is the Seattle Space Needle, like I said, architecture. Um, one of the first boxes I opened. Um, so another architecture set, haven't got this one. This has been discontinued now. Managed to get this on Amazon for less than the retail price. Um, so I was really pleased with that, considering it had just been discontinued. So um, yeah, that goes towards my Lego architecture sets. Okay everyone, so there we go, there is this week's Lego haul video. So as you can see, they are some of the sets that I've bought over the Christmas 
period. Quite a few promotions in there, some awesome additional surprise um, poly bags been put in there from Lego, so massive thank you to them, along with these awesome little cards um, that you can see here. So really pleased this Lego haul video, and hopefully you have enjoyed watching this video too. If you had, please go ahead and give it that big thumbs up. Comments or questions down in the comments sections to the video. I do reply to all of them. Um, and I will still endeavour to do that as the channel continues to grow. Like I said, over 10,000 subscribers now. So massive thank you to everyone for your support. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. And like I said, let me know if you want me to do more review videos. Um, but I only want to do them if you're actually going to watch them. Um, if I'm being um, perfectly honest. Because if you're not watching them, it means you don't enjoy them. You watch these, I get quite a few views on these, so that tells me you enjoy them, hence why I do them, and I enjoy doing them too, um, to share with you kind of what I'm getting and what I'm doing, what I'm selling, what I'm building myself, what's in my collections, what may be upcoming. Um, I've got loads of Lego City sets at some stage in the future, I will do a build a Lego City, it's just a question of space. Um, space is limited in my house at the moment, so um, yeah, it's difficult to do that. Also, my Lego trains as well. I love the Lego trains, and I've got a massive Lego train track which I get out every now and then um, around the house um, and share that with you as well. So that's it for now, guys. Um, thanks very much for all your support. Like I said, comment, questions, feedback, share, all the normal stuff. Links down in the description to my other social media like uh, Instagram, and I have got a Facebook account, although I've got to be honest, I'm not particularly good at um updating that so um yeah thanks very much guys like i said at the beginning i hope you had a fantastic christmas and i wish you a very happy and prosperous 2016 thanks everyone and bye for now cheers see you on the next video